Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of Valhalla Vanguard in Aurora Forex. And in previous episode we had our first fight. It's still technically ongoing, but we can't actually see the enemies. We just know that there's uh Oh basically we need to wait until our ships are ready before we can actually do anything about that. What we might do is since they won't be able to ready until I think another four five second turn, so twenty seconds. I'm actually gonna get rid of that one. We'll see if they actually shoot us more during this or not. They are moving. Oh, yep, yep. I think we may have. Uh... Okay, let's have a look at the information here again. So they're still fighting on Atian 3. Damage from invisible anti ship missiles. So they have missiles there. Right. So we definitely need to get out of there as quickly as possible. Was there. No, it's still mostly Atheon 3 by the looks of it. It hasn't exploded yet. They have a lot of missiles though. And we know that the ships are capable of various speeds. We're gonna have to wait another 5 second increment. Are they gonna be shooting... Oh, wait a minute. Did I place the... Oh, I did close the events. Just gonna put it to the side again. So they do use missiles, and ATN3 is still taking a lot of beating. I wonder. We know that some of the ships are moving faster, but we're still. If we have a look at the 18-3, how bad is the situation looking right now? Uh, damage control? So... The engines... I don't know, one of the engines is down. Okay. Then a lot of the armor seems to be... Yeah, a lot of the armor has been penetrated, so it was good enough for the one, first 10 seconds. Of battle, but I mean, this is not meant as a close rank fight here anyway, so that's most of the problem, I think. Right, well, I think we need to wait for another five seconds before we can. Oh, we can have a look. Combat settings, still no targets for us to select, especially the missile destroyers is the most important. I think. Another 5 second increment and our ships should be ready to do things. Atheon 3, first of all you're gonna transfer right away as you can. I hope you can. And then patrol 1. Right, so we do have the active sensors on. Hmm. Oh, fire delay. Oh, that's probably what is happening here. Let's wait for five seconds. If the Atheon escapes, he will be... Oh, it can't transfer quite yet. Is it the one minute time? It might be a one minute cooldown. Okay, there's a lot more damage on 18.3. Still not destroyed. Although there's a lot of missiles by the looks of it. Uh, 
Okay, still, yeah, they're still plotting on 18 and 3. They're taking the beating. Still can't transfer. Okay, so these are moving back in. Uh, can the other ATMs and such? Do they have still no targets available? Does it say anywhere when they are done with the? No, not over there. At least is what I can say. I'll we'll see. They're moving back and forth there. We should be about. One minute into this battle now. Oh, yep. Yeah. And ATM 3 has been destroyed. That's a lot of weaponry. Now, can we. I think it's probably easier from the combat view, actually. Oh, I think so. Except we can't. No contacts over here, so we still need to wait. Just trying to look, when can we? Hmm. Basically moving back and forth there. We can't really do anything around here, can we? I mean, we do have the extra Atheans available. Just next time we need to do the squad transit so they can't do the point blank fire. And yeah. Basically what we can do is we can have some of our ships, uh, or we may need to set up uh, some sort of uh, basically a platform or something like that, that will be waiting on the other side if they try to chance it. I don't know if they have those uh, jump drives or not. They probably do. They do have decent speeds on their ships. Now let's see, is there still... I'm assuming there's still no target that we can take. Nope. We're gonna give them order to pick up the survivors. I'm not that uh, life pod. Rescue survivors and then standard transit. Writing acknowledgement. Do we still not have any targets available? That is weird. I mean, I'm very new to this combat stuff, so. Oh, and they're shooting again. Now it's ATM number two. All damage absorbed by the armor though. Energy weapon so we couldn't actually shoot down any of that. Hmm. Now they're moving back in, they'll be shooting and then they'll move back. So that's what they're basically doing. And our ships are not acting very quickly. Okay, we might actually be spotting something now. Yeah, there's, uh, those are missiles, clearly. 
So now I think our ships are actually working. So let's have a look. Can our spikes, for example, target? No, still no contacts as target. Hmm. I know that there's probably a, plenty of people watching. Or the, plenty of the people that are watching baseball right now because I don't know what's going on or how to. Actually, I mean, I know that I made a mistake by going standard transit. I know that much. Because I went right into their point blank range. So ATM number two is the one that is taking damage now. They haven't penetrated all that much. We know that there are ships coming in. And let's make sure that they are on final defensive fire. All these. Uh, Actually, can I? I think I can do it over here better. Or easier than that. Final defensive fire set mode. Just making sure that that is the case. And then for the spikes, I suppose we could put these into. I think one miss anti missile per target missile will be good enough for now. For both of them. Since we don't have any target available, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Let's see. At least it's uh, going a bit down. Uh, Ethan 2 is still getting hit. Invisible anti-ship missiles. One shock damage. Okay, so there's still a lot of missiles, so if these are the ones that are firing the missiles, then they're firing them so close that we don't have time to protect against that. Now we're still waiting to get the life pods. And a lot more energy weapon impacts. Okay, now we can start shooting. Um, right. Does it list the distances? It does. Far up on the ones with the active sensors. So we'll assign that as the target. We'll assign another one for that. Then Spike 2 will fire this fire control on this one. I mean, we could technically use the anti missile missiles as well because those are very quick, although they only do one damage. So we probably won't be able to penetrate their armor, but at the same time, we can't see their missiles. So we might as well use what we can. And we should be close enough that they won't be able to do much about our missiles either. So let them taste their own medicine. Hold on, so what is the other context? There's uh, one Temple 1 over there, at least, so we'll assign that. Over there, we'll assign the small ones to the Temple 1 as well. For both. Because I think... 
It has some decent sensors, at least that much we do know. Right, and the Athians probably don't have the range, actually. Well, not necessarily. How long? It can fly up to 24,000. They are just outside the range, by the looks of it. So the Athians are just tanking the damage, quite frankly. Well, we'll see. Let's check. Can we actually hit them? Hostile missile. Oh, we can. Oh, crap. That's a huge salvo there. Yeah, we need to get bigger salvos. That's a certain thing that we need for the next tier. The missiles are coming in hot. Hmm. Did we fire quite yet? Still acknowledging the orders. Okay, some of them seem to be okay now. Did they not fire? Oh, I, I gave them the targets, but I didn't fire, of course. Right. Open fire. The Athians, uh, no target assignment, but we have set them in point defense mode. So we should be able to fire quite a few of the missiles coming in soon, since we have spotted them now. Let's see. Fire delay. We rescued the survivors. The missiles are going a bit to the side by the looks of it. That's odd. Okay, um... Energy weapon impacts a lot of them. Let's have a look. The missiles probably came in. Can we see if we actually hit any of them? Uh, we fired a lot. We're targeting Athian and started firing them the missiles. Missed. Destroyed one missile, then missed. Destroyed one missile. Destroy an enemy missile, destroy it. Okay, so it's actually not that bad. We did shoot quite a few of them, but probably not enough. Five missiles destroyed. Okay, then the fire, second fire control. Actually, that's... Five missiles destroyed. Three weapons fired. Then Athean... Is that... Was that Athean 1 or Athean... That is Athean 2. So that was the fire control that... That pretty good actually. Then another fire control. Destroy another five missiles. Then destroy two missiles. Destroy three missiles. Five missiles. And four missiles. And six missiles. Ooh. So we destroy a lot of them actually. Okay, we did get one damage from there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We took eight damage, but I think we shot down much more than what we took actual damage, so that's good, that's good. Then energy weapon impact again, those are mostly from our ships there, I think. I was preparing to fire. Spike is preparing to fire. A 
then 18 took some damage from Sepultura. Try to remain intact despite taking damage. Okay. They're still in the fight. I mean, we're trying to get away from the fight, but. Hold on, did I close the. Got a thing again? I did. And the fire delays are still a thing. And still, okay. New hostile contact. The missiles targeting. No miss. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm firing empty tubes. It's assigning everything that I can know. We'll take these and that assign. Not the dummies, the proper ones. There we go. Now, let's see if we can actually hit the enemies. We lost the active con sensor contact. Oh, right, because we switched system. Okay, well we lost one ship, we managed to escape, and now we know better. We didn't actually fire, but that's fine. Right, so let's go back to Alta. We did transfer. Mm, okay, so let's move back to... We still can go max speed, so that's good. Njord cannot facilitate our repairs yet, so we're gonna have to go back through Nestrand. This time the standard transit should be safe. And then go to Mir. Valhalla can be. Unload survivals. And I suppose it's just overhaul? That replacement crew. Refuel. Probably the resupply, although I'm not sure that we actually used any. And then... Begin overhaul. That seems like it's gonna be okay. Whew. Well, that was uh, intense. Oh, and the <laughs> ships are still trying to fire. No targets, though. I uh, suppose we can go for... Oh, those are Athians. The These weapons firing. Uh, cease fire. Don't have a target. I'm going to keep the active sensors on right now, just in case they decide to follow us. Which I don't think they will. Because if they do, they are foolish. Give me a few more. I think we can start going a bit. We get jumps now. Luckily, we do have the extra ships that we can replace uh, this patrol, and we'll probably need to actually make it even bigger patrol. So maybe have like five Athians in a patrol, and at least the two missile ships. Because we can say that the Athians 
shot down quite a few of the enemy missiles once we actually knew where they were coming from. But we will need to redesign well, both of the ships, quite frankly. And probably sooner rather than later. But we are unfortunately out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.